I am making a game that is on Steam called Blinded by Fear. This is a science fiction horror game where you are blind and the only way you can see is by using LiDAR. This is a similar premise to a few games I've seen on YouTube and the game Scanner Somber. In these games, they render millions and millions of points that never disappear. This is quite a technical challenge and I don't use game engines, I don't use a framework, I don't really even use libraries. I write most of my stuff from scratch in C and C++. So yeah, this is a bit of a problem. So I have some graphics programming experience, so I was fairly confident I could do this. And I knew going in that there were two methods based on what I'd seen from Scanner Somber and the Gary's Mod LiDAR game that's floating around YouTube. So I think one of the ways to do this, and I think how the Gary's Mod LiDAR is working, though I'm not certain, I'm assuming this is how it's working, is that they bake the particles to the textures in the world. So one of the problems is you can't really render millions of points because your GPU only has a certain amount of resources. Uh, one of the ways around that is to just fake how many you're rendering. So, in their world, they have 3D meshes, like a chair. A very badly drawn chair. This chair is made up of triangles. Um, if you want to texture this chair, you do something called UV unwrapping, which means you project every one of these triangles to a, to a uh, texture. Like so. In the texture method, I think what's happening is a ray is being fired, it's hitting a 3D model, it's hitting a triangle, the point on this triangle is being looked up in the texture, and then at this location a particle texture is drawn to the screen. So the benefit of this method is you essentially can render an infinite number of points for free. All it costs is a texture lookup and a texture write. The other method is what Scanner Somber does. This is the quote unquote naive method. This is rendering every single particle as a quad, which is basically a square with a texture on it that always faces the camera. The reason I call this naive is because to begin with, it's the easiest way to do it. But the problem is you cannot render 10 million particles without your GPU beginning to cry. So you have to do a bunch of work in order to optimize. And I think Scanner Sombra is doing something quite clever here from what I can tell. I think they're rendering all the particles that are up close as detailed quads. And then far away, I think they are rendering the particles as a texture, so I think they're combining both methods. In Blinded by Fear, the game world is dynamic. Things move, doors open, uh, puzzles need to be solved. Uh, the points need to convey to the player that something's happened, otherwise the player is just completely confused. So method one is kind of off the table, even though it's probably the better option. Uh, and I'll have to go for method two. So the way that I do this is that the player in my game engine will fire a ray out into the scene. Where that ray hits, I take that position and I take the surface normal, and then I upload it to the GPU. I batch these together to make this more efficient, so multiple ray hits will be uploaded at once. Then on the GPU, I take that point and I take that normal and I create a quad using the geometry shader, and then I apply texture to that quad which is, in this case, a circle. Before I give the buffer to the GPU, I do a bunch of culling, which basically means every particle that isn't in view of the camera, I don't upload. That way I can limit the amount that I draw on the GPU. I also do culling at a certain distance as well, which uh, also helps. This gets you 80% of the way there. The issue is that the player can draw particles in the same spot which means no amount of 
frustum culling or view culling or distance culling is going to help you if you draw all 10 million particles in the same place the GPU is going to render every single one of those so this problem is where the difficulty is the solution here is to place every single point into some queryable data structure so that you can test intersections the trouble is doing this quickly so after doing that you can basically render as many particles as you like until you run out of memory uh, but let's just forget about that for now anyway make sure you wishlist blinded by fear on steam it's coming out this year end of this year hopefully um, follow me on twitter subscribe to youtube you know the usual boring stuff um, hopefully this video hasn't been too boring but uh, let me know. Alright, see you later.